a State of France 500, a celebration of Armin's radio show, sitting next to Stuart Lanes. Hi, man. Hi, how are you doing? Yeah. Wow, what a party. It's a great party. The ASOP 500 has been absolutely amazing, I have to say. Yeah. Yeah. You performed in uh, Johannesburg? Yeah, that's right, and Cape Town as well. Both were very memorable, I have to say. The best gigs of the year by far. Um, wow. Yeah, just amazing atmosphere. And also because it's such a worldwide thing, you know, the, the, the whole atmosphere has been incredible. And then also on the internet, I mean... That's what I mean, the internet, yeah. Zurich, I mean... No, you've, it's really felt like a whole world event with these parties, and um, I think trance has, has kind of got a boost from this. It's, it's, been, it's been very good. Yeah, good for music in general, yeah, for sure. I think so. Yeah. You weren't supposed to be here, right, tonight, or...? Well, I was playing Luminosity in uh, Amsterdam last night, and um, I kind of got the fever of the ASOP 500 from playing Johannesburg, so I thought, why not, we're in the area, pop in, so... Yeah, popped in. Book tickets, come over. Yeah, yeah, changed the flights last minute and, <laughs> and we're here, so good. Cool. Well, I mean, Armin's radio show um, has been on for almost 10 years. If we turn back time, where were you at 10 years ago? Well, 10 years ago for me was uh, pretty much prime time, if you like, with, with trance um, uh, kicking off in the UK and, and obviously in, in Europe particularly. Yep. Um, so yeah, the heyday, if you like, of trance, but these days it's a bit different, but I, I still feel trance is very, very big at the moment. It's, uh, if anything, uh, growing in popularity, I think. For sure, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. And, and how important is the Estate of Friends radio show? Well, it's certainly become one of the core shows. Um, you know, Armin was one of the earliest to do the show, to, to do a radio show that became weekly. And, um, and yeah, it's obviously the, the most popular show, so uh, yeah. a very important show, I think. Uh, true. Um, any news on productions? Um, this year I've been focusing on some slightly different, edgier stuff <laughs> under my alias uh, LNG. And um, yeah, I've been doing those at the moment. They're going down quite well, actually. I was quite nervous about doing some of them. Uh, but the latest one, Harmony Will Kick You In The Arse, is... Uh, <laughs> Fantastic title. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, it seems to be turning out to be quite popular. So uh, cool. yeah, some good stuff coming up. What's your highlight so far for a set of Trans 500? What, tonight? Yeah. Uh, is, do you know, the highlight for me has just been to see so many people. Uh, I've been really busy in the last few weeks. Everyone's uh, here. Yeah, exactly. Um, I didn't get over to Miami this year. Um, I basically, the way my shows worked, um, I was in South Africa for ASOL 500, yeah. and then I did a tour in Indonesia. So it was kind of difficult to get over with the main kind of time when everyone was over in Miami. So. I thought this would be a great time to hook up with everybody in here and, uh, and, and check some people out. Sort of mini winter music conference. Yeah, it's, it's, there's, there's enough people here. I mean, was it like 35, 40 DJs tonight? Yeah. Yeah, yeah so everyone's here. Cool. Well, enjoy the party, man. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers.